Okay, Clayton, what are we doing today? I was going to ask you the same thing. Okay, you ask me. Okay, Dave, what are we doing today? We're going to do a dyno comparison between on a Mark 6 GTI would be like a CCTA engine, two liter, um, stock turbo, stage two equivalent, I guess it would be. So we're going to dyno it. I have a few ECUs. We're going to dyno it completely stock. Well, the hardware, mm -hmm. which is the full turbo back. Sorry, the hardware is full turbo back exhaust, intake, diverter valve spacer, nothing else, stock turbo. So we're How much gonna horsepower do you get from the diverter valve spacer? A zero. Zero, okay. <laughs> um, we're going to dyno in stock, and then Clayton's going to grab one of the ECUs. We have two tunes to go through. We have a Malone Stage 2, and we have a Unitronic Stage 2. And Clayton's going to grab one, chuck it in. We'll go through, do the runs of each, and then I'll kind of have my uh, hypothesis. I was going to say that actually, yeah. At the end of yeah. what? I think that's actually the right, the right terminology, word. yeah. Yes, good score. Yeah. Um, of what, is, or what tune did what. So I expect them to be very similar, to be honest, but, you know, time will tell. There is uh, going to be a little bit difference between the providers, but we had the tunes here, so we decided to chuck the car in the dyno and do the comparison. I don't think we have any Mark 6 stuff on the channel so far. Mm, Golf R. Oh, the Mark 6 R. Yeah. Right. All right, fire it up. Okay. See what the girl can do. my expectations but I forgot about the upgrades I guess yeah. so 201 horsepower 200 torque that <laughs> even <laughs> so Clayton I think one of the hoses popped off no I don't think no, no. I'll take a look okay both still there interesting GoPro stop recording so we'll just try to back that up. I'm just gonna look at the logs just to see what it's doing on this amazing fuel we have here. It smells good over here. The capu? I, dro I drove in capu and I drove, well, somewhere in Clayton standing where there's some it remnants stinks. of capu. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get ready for the next one. Okay, we're ready for another run. First one, 201 and uh, 200 torque, dead even. So, trash control off. All right, let's do it. <laughs> no. When you're doing like halfway through the pull, the, the fog lights just come on, turn off, go back on again. Uh, so, bang on. 199 and 202. So, let me shut the car off. Let me stop the log. We're ready to put the next ECU in. For those that don't know where the stock ECU, or where the ECU is, it's under the rain tray. So this one, stock, immobilizer off. All right, so a couple minutes later, good to go. 
Yeah, as always. Everything's a production. So you picked an ECU? Yep. And uh, we're just gonna get the car warmed up and give it a go. See how much horsepower we gain. I'm gonna say we get, obviously I was wrong on the first, first guess, but I kind of wasn't taking into consideration the downpipe and all that stuff. But we should see probably, uh, another 35 wheel horsepower, I'd say. Sweet. And a bunch more torque. All the torque. Like the crank, in most tunes, it's like 50 to 60 horsepower and like 90 to 100 torque, depending on the octane file and all that stuff. Yep. So wheel horsepower we'll probably see about that 35 or so but we'll see in a second i shouldn't be guessing these i make myself look stupid sometimes but you can just edit them out let's see what we gain for power all right let's go We gained a lot of torque, Clayton. We gained a lot of torque. I didn't even look yet. We, so that run, we, it runs out further, a lot further, which is awesome. Um, so that run was 244 and 275. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. It's a big difference, big difference. So uh, we're going to try to back this up. Hopefully it makes similar power on the next run. We'll just give it a minute to kind of cool itself down and uh, see what it can do. Ready to back it up? We'll try to back it up, yeah. GoPro, start recording. You ready? I'm ready. Let's see what it can do this time. I bet the same. You think? Mm, I'm going to say a less. Mm. little less. Additional RPM is definitely nice. Still making power up there, so. All right, let's do this. torque pretty much the same it made one horsepower less but it actually made six torque more it made 281 wheel torque that time that's a lot of torque Clayton all the torque all the torques okay let's switch them out all right nope oh, Bill is taking a look I see that GoPro stop recording it smells like cat shit over here still <laughs> good When you go to that, make this car snap like the normal. Would you like to still need earplugs, Pete? No, this is as loud as this is as loud as it gets. You're so bossy. All right, last CCU's in. Got my light on for you. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna have to listen to you suck on that candy now. Oh, right. Yeah. I'll chew it. Much better. <laughs> And uh, we're ready to throw down, as they say. Yep. Do the last two two poles, hopefully. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what this one can do. Make sure there's no misfires or anything. And we'll see the difference between a couple different tuning providers. All right, let's see what this one's got in there. We're ready. Whoa! It's 
good. And actually, the one thing I did notice about this run, and it does show it on the graph, is that it didn't like have that surge at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So that would that be you said that before. That would be for uh, traction. Well, it's no, it's generally in on these cars because it's small turbo. It, it's compressor surge, trying to manage compressor surge in some cases. Yep. So maybe on the other files that it was trying to take in, take that into consideration. But on this run, we gained five more horsepower and a whole bunch more torque. It did 247 horsepower and 296 torque. Wow. So from our original runs, we did 200 torque and we're up 96 wheel torque. It's wild. <laughs> really wild. Crazy. I'm going to look at the logs and... Sorry, I'd be more excited, but the smell over here... With the cat poo? You know? Still. The cat yeah. poo. Yeah. I'm excited. Obviously, I know what these cars... Can you, can't, you can't smell what's over here. Yeah, that doesn't make me excited. I'm excited for the fact that, you know, I've been tuning these cars for a long time and I know from driving them and from customer experience what they can what their capabilities are yep but to see you know to do a comparison to see what it's actually doing on the dyno is pretty neat like how could you not get one of these cars tuned oh it's i don't know we're talking like almost 50 wheel horsepower and 100 wheel torque yeah. and the typical company uh typically promotes 50 to 60 crank horsepower and 90 to 100 torque depending on the file crank wow so we're getting that almost in wheel wheel horsepower yep it's not so we're gonna do one more to back it up once i take a look at the logs and uh we might be done with this one right on as long as this one is similar like similar horsepower this will probably be the last run we did two stock two on the second ecu and we're gonna as long as this one is similar then we'll probably just call it after this one unless it's way out of whack then we'll do a third run but yep okay but the way the things are going it's been pretty, pretty consistent for each one yep okay all right let's do it okay gopro just trying to set up my log here, just for a little bit of info. And we're ready to see what she does. Up some uh, some fluttering out of the turbo now with this ECU. All right, let's do it. Okay, Clayton. We did uh, the light. It's so blinding. Pretty close. We lost a couple of horsepower and torque. So 244 and 293 torque. We're still up quite a bit of torque from the last run. Um, from the previous tune. From the previous tune, yep. yeah. So I think for what we're working with, pump gas, 91, two runs stock, two runs on the second ECU, two runs on the third ECU, we got a pretty good comparison. So we'll get everything shut down and we'll talk about the different files and show you the gains and the differences between the files. All right. Okay. Clayton? Yep. You chose which ECU went in the car. I did. From my little experience. <laughs> little experience, yeah. I have my theories on which was which, just based on customer cars and data logging a lot of these things I would say that the uh, the first run was stock ECU the first one was stock <laughs> ECU it's good did 200 and 201 I think and then I did 
201, 200, something like that. They were very close. To, yep. Why is that other one not in there? Don't know. So 201 and number 99, the stock yep. runs. Second ECU was 244, mm -hmm. 275 torque, 243, 281 torque. So substantial gains. Keep in mind, it does have a full turbo vac exhaust intake and- Diverted valve spacer. Diverted valve spacer, which I forgot. And then the last ECU, we gained just a little bit more horsepower, um, but we did gain like 15 torque or so. Yep. So we did 247, 296 torque. So between the second and third ECU, you can see down low 3,500 to 4,500, even further out, we're like, 20 torque in the difference down low. And if I had to guess the difference between these and seeing what's going on at the beginning of the graph on the second ECU, that this is probably in relation to our fuel and timing um, because we did two ECUs, as you know, from the beginning of the video, Unitronic and Malone and stock. Um, I would have to guess that the second ECU was Unitronic from the sheer fact of the requirements, the fuel requirements for stage two for where we live compared to the fuel that we actually have because we only have 91 here. So that's leaving a little bit on the table strictly based on timing. The Malone ECU, am I right by saying this? Mm -hmm. The second ECU was? Yeah, you're right. Unitronic? I'd correct you. Yeah, so the, the, the Malone ECU, it was a specific 91 octane file um, so they know the fuel that we're running and the file was created for 91 octane. So where we are and uh, comparing the same fuel, the same day, everything the same, uh, literally just swapping ECUs, uh, we gained, you know, 15 torque and just a couple of horsepower in the difference between the two, yep. between the two different stage two files. So. 96 wheel torque. Yeah. I don't know why it gained. Like, it's insane. To not get your car tuned is. Yeah, like obviously this wouldn't be the exact same on stage one. No. But, you know, for these cars being a little bit older, well, not a lo little bit. I mean, this is, I think this one's a 2010. Um, the power left on the table with just a tune on a stock turbo is crazy that kind of torque everyone's gonna feel bombing around the city it's gonna you know be a totally totally different car so Clayton what am I forgetting is there anything <sighs> I should be adding in here is this the first gas vehicle Malone tune you've done that we've had on the Donna yeah I think so yeah and we've done another we, we've done another, we did well TDI's but yeah and I flashed Malone on two liters and 180s pretty often. I just, not I mean, often we, enough that I put one on the dyno, I guess. And also we don't do a video on every car that comes to the totally shop. Totally don't, and especially comparison videos like this. This car happened to uh, come tuned and I picked up another ECU and then I wanted to do a comparison on this to kind of see, you know, where each tuner is. Now on that note, there's only, as I've said this in plenty of videos and plenty of emails to people and plenty of messages on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. There's only so much to be had out of a stock turbo. So I wasn't expecting 50 more horsepower or torque one tune over another. No. And so that's one thing that people really got to keep in mind is when they're looking at different tuning providers and they're saying, oh, this guy makes 15 more. In some cases that might be true. But if it's a substantial number, it's slikely unrealistic. It could be the measuring tool that you're using. Exactly. Like you said, a dyno is a measuring tool. Dino's Whether measuring it's tool. your buddy made more horsepower, less horsepower, it's, it's a measuring tool that... Like, for example, if somebody in the comments says, I made 200 or 300 wheel horsepower on a stock turbo, I'm just, I'm not going to believe it. It's just not happening on this turbo. There's only so much to be had. You know you're going to get that comment. Totally gonna get it for sure. 300 wheel horse. I made 300 wheel horsepower on my KO3. No, you didn't. With <laughs> race fuel in the bigger turbo. Yeah, in a different turbo. Um, below sea level. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With, uh, what's his name? SpongeBob. Yep. Um, or actually, I've yeah. learned today that Death Valley is below sea level. Oh, I believe there's some, a few yeah. places actually. I didn't but know that. We don't have a dino there. Mm. We don't. No. Clayton? Dave. Are we forgetting something? I think we are. The previous, the actually, a good, this is a kind of a good note. We did a comparison here. Obviously, I would have done five more different providers if I had the ECUs and the tunes to be able to do so. Yeah, compare them all. Right, I would, but obviously, time is money and so are these tunes. So we don't get these tunes for free. Um, so on that note, we did a video about a year ago about which tuning option is best. Um, and it's re I'll link it above. It's really worth taking a watch if you're considering tuning the car. There's a lot of things to consider when it comes to future upgrades and you know power goals and support and stuff like that. So I'll link it above. Take a watch. Clayton, anything else? Don't think so. Appreciate Wrap it up. everybody. Wrap it up. Wrap Appreciate it up. everybody for purchasing the hats. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to ask them below. Remember, this was all on 91 octane. So all the people that will be keyboard warriors saying they made more horsepower, I'm sure you did. Cool but story. If you're not running 91 octane, then it's not comparable. So on that note, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Where's the key? Try again. Does that take two, three? Take a couple. I take lost a couple. Track, yeah. Everything's in production, Clayton. Yeah. You didn't warn me. We're ready? We're ready, yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Let's do it. Yeah. Vroom, vroom. So before you record that, Billy, yeah. when I'm doing dyno runs, don't come anywhere near the dyno. Okay, I'm Nowhere near it. Right. You get sucked under that thing, and you're going to be in serious I'm trouble. Right under, <laughs> <laughs> no problem, buddy comparing things that we can control. Right, yeah. control. Control. Are you having a stroke there? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> After breaking your mirror, I'm gonna have to change my battery out here. Um, how was your Valentine's? Did you miss me? No. Go change your battery. Okay, so we'll do a wrap in a minute. I need a second from talking. That's rare for you. I know.